Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Please Slay the Spire. Yesterday's daily was real tough. I had a lot of people tell me it was a tough daily. I agree with them. We did not do very well. Well, actually, you know, compared to what I saw on Twitter a lot, I thought we did fine. But I can't see yesterday's scores, unfortunately. So, uh, I'm gonna be content with it. We got another defect daily. We can't tell anything from the scores because I waited until it rolled over. So, we, you know, basically no information to be gleaned except... You know, Mystery Man really dropped the ball. Specialized could be good depending on the card. Yesterday it was Nova, which was actually pretty okay. Certain Future is terrible. Night Terrors is not terrible most of the time. It's obviously not good. It's Nova again? Okay, well... I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan of this. <laughs> uh... Especially considering we don't even have a choice in path. Everything seems very dangerous right now. Let's run the numbers. You got 28. I can hit you for 16, followed by another 12. Ooh, ooh, yeah, okay. I thought I jumped the gun there, I thought, but we're good. We need static discharge. We probably need leap. I don't want to make the same mistakes we made yesterday, but I'm just being real with you when I say that... Uh, You need to be killed. Um, I'm just being real with you when I say that I, I actually feel like yesterday we did relatively well. As compared to the the norm. I really wanted it to hit you, but that's okay. Life goes on. We're going to ride out our weakness here with some uh, blocks while we have the availability. And... Um, you're not going to die. You're going to live with one HP. We probably should have played Static Discharge, and then we could have made Nova better in the future, but... Doesn't matter. You're dead. Um, you know, um, I, I don't really like any of those enough to add them to the deck right now. We're gonna have to be... I, I really, for real, for sure think uh, that today's daily is gonna be pretty tough. So, the first floor in particular, I think, is gonna be just, just garbage. So... Thank you. Um, I am going to take the block potion. I'm taking the block potion because I sincerely do not want to rest. Knowing that resting... Wow, this is terrible. You got him. It's not that bad. Uh, resting is going to cost us our maximum HP. We need white noise. It's enabling five cards in our deck that at least now when we play both powers will be as good as strikes. Turn one. It's going to be a little nasty. Can't kill you. Got close with the fire potion, but can't kill you. You know more than anything else I hate to do this. But, had to be done. Now, Capacitor is not that good, but I'm going to take it for its ability to enable Nova. And, uh... On yesterday's daily, we were losing maximum HP, and that stunk. This time, we're just, you know, we have, we have an incentive to upgrade, I guess. Instead of resting. White Noise being free is great. Um, capacitor becomes free. No, give two orb slots. We're going to go Static Discharge first because I think the, the real benefit of Static Discharge is that if a fight's going badly... Shop's too far away. If the, sh if the fight's going badly, you can bail yourself out with a Static Discharge. Hopefully. Until then, though, we're going to start with White Noise and hope for the best. Good, please. Potion Belt. Man, Potion Belt is like... So, I, I'm unhappy to see it every time. <laughs> uh, sure, Zap and Bias Cognition, it's it's not bad. Put up as much... Oh, you had extra energy, you fool! Because the white noise is free now. You idiot. Probably should have dual casted there. Yeah, we're starting to... Starting to drop the ball here, and it's, it's a very bad time to do it, because we got that elite fight coming straight up. Just slow your roll. I mean, it's not coming up. The elite fight is here. Uh, just a terrible first turn. 14 damage, huh? I think we might die right here. I didn't want to play the, our skill because I was I was afraid, and I still am. But now I think we we kind of don't have a choice. Okay, Echo Form is just gorgeous. Nine damage. 
He's not attacking next turn, right? He does, like, a weak attack next turn. Yeah, enough for us to live if we get, like, a single defend. But then the defend is gonna make him stronger. It's, it's a difficult situation. Oh, but it gets played twice! Okay. Nova, his butt. We're not taking too much damage, we just need to kill him on this turn. Nova will do it. Okay, so we're gonna live, but not by much. I do kind of think we need Hyper Beam, but we have to be very delicate with the way that we make it work. Um, no, we're gonna die right now. Defend would not have done it for us. Well, you know what that means? Um, just a terrible capitulation on a daily. It is my own mistake, I think. We, we might have been able to make it out of there, but that daily was, was actually trash. What it means is that we go back to Ascension, and we start working our way through a defect Ascension run. I'm very disappointed in myself, but you know what? Time will tell how life goes on here. Hello world, Doom and Gloom. Claw. Give me Doom and Gloom. I understand a Claw build is well respected. Well liked, but... I think Doom and Gloom is, uh, like, agnostically the best card we got going on here. Yeah, I... To be honest, I, I still like the dailies a lot in Slay the Spire, but I do think that, like, lately... There's been a little bit of a problem in, in finding a balance between uh, way, way too easy and nearly impossible. I won't say that today's daily is nearly impossible because I didn't really see that it's nearly impossible. You know, we died way too early. Um, we are going to definitely go for powers for now and we'll see how life changes after that point. But, um, well, unlikely to get a shop. It's a lot of gold, but we'll just do it this way. Um... Yeah, so I, I'm hoping that, uh, that that problem is with us, but we'll see. Don't want to fight this guy turn one. Doom and Gloom's going to wake him up. I think Fragment Zap will, make him, will wake him up too, though. So actually, I kind of like a Doom and Gloom uh, defrag. I think that's worth more. Because this is going to scale way faster. We'll do static for sure. We only have one defend. Kind of feel okay getting hit for 18 here. Zap pays for itself over a strike real quickly. And uh, now with static, we're going to be rolling pretty quickly here. We're not going to get over 20. So I think we should just do this first. That's pretty solid. Um, now I'll put up a little defense. This other Dark Orb, as it comes around, is probably going to get the kill. Next turn, it looks like. It's not a bad fight against the Lagavulin, honestly. Um, yeah, Dual Cast will do it. Okay, I, I, we got something good going on this run. Blue Candle's fine. Uh, rebound is great. We'll take Rebound there. Go for the Eyes, also pretty good. We're going to go for the Smith. And, uh, I mean, Defrag being twice as good is amazing. Static being twice as good is amazing. I think we'll start static. People, I, I might overrate this card. But I like it. So I'm thinking, you're not going to die. But we can't defend too much. So a Doom and Gloom, uh, followed by a Strike. Just to ensure that you die is probably my favorite option. I think, at least. This guy is highly dead. Yes. Hmm. I like Ball Lightning. You're, you're probably noticing I got kind of a similar approach to a lot of decks here. Uh, and yet, you wouldn't be wrong. I'm skipping the one campfire. Upgrades are super useful. I think I, I probably, if anything, underrate upgrades. But uh, I wanted to make sure we had a chance to maybe buy a useful relic from the shop as well. I like this turn. Uh, a lot of stuff will basically take you out now. You are actually already taken out. Focus Potion. Gain two... F Ooh! That's actually potentially extremely good. I love Boot Sequence. It's a little situational, I guess, but it, I love it. So much stuff here is amazing. Um, but we have to start with Storm for this deck, I think. And then uh, you probably go for Toxic Egg, personally. But Tori's good. Unceasing Top is also good, especially as we get more energy, but... Toxic Egg to upgrade things by default. I think we gotta basically just say thank you for our good fortune and uh, consider ourselves extremely lucky. 
well on our way to a half decent ascension here. Um, I'm gonna rebound a strike, and we're just gonna leave boot sequence to to rot in our discard pile until it comes back around. What do you got for me? Doom and Gloom is an attack, so I like it. I'm gonna hit you for another 16. You're gonna hit me for 16, uh, but you're in uh, you're in a dangerous point now. Need to do 12 damage to you. I'm not gonna get there. So you're you're dead when you hit me, but you do have to hit me. Unfortunate, but a good relic would make it feel better. And I don't know if that's gonna do it, but I'll, I'll live with it. Self repair I think is pretty solid. Your attack in turn one, which is exactly what we want. And look at that. Now this is pretty much what we're gunning for. It's a situation like that right there. All of a sudden, I'm feeling pretty okay about our chances. This guy is already dead, and there's nothing he can do. Give me another defrag. We, I would love to add like some leaps to this deck, but for now, get through this boss fight, and you're good to go. He's not attacking turn one, so we'll rebound, a strike, play a defend. Probably a good time to draw. We need to do 22 damage. I don't think we're going to get there. This is uh, technically 10. This will do it. I don't actually think this is a strong turn, but it's a turn that led to us taking no damage, so I'm not, not hating much. Give me a static, give me a defrag, and uh, you might as well give me a defend on top of that. Just block some of it at least. Alright, now the real pain starts. Uh, I think evoking this twice is fairly sensible. And this guy's in a world of hurt thanks to Static Discharge. I gotta be honest, Ascension level 2 is rolling kind of okay right now. Much to perhaps nobody's surprise? I don't know. Maybe to everybody's surprise, for all I know. This guy is going to roll over. Is he going to do... Oh, he did get to do his other attack first. But uh, it's a pretty quick time to kill, to be honest. We'll do Storm, Defrag. We could Strike or we could Channel a Lightning. So we're definitely going to Channel a Lightning. What are we looking for? Uh, well, an Energy Relic always... He's already dead. But uh, Thunderstorm or Thunderstrike. Didn't get it. Amplify, pre-upgraded because of uh, the orb. Or sorry, the, the toxic egg. Rainbow's pretty good. Not exhausting as a bonus as well. Multicast can be really good with dark. And what do we... Uh, amplify is not bad. I, if we're going for a power focus, I guess I could see it. And we'll go Sozu as well. Um, what is the... Uh, we still heal on Ascension too. Normal enemies are deadlier, okay. Um, plenty of gold, so we'll ride it uh, all the way over here. Very good situation, turn one. Boot sequence, amplify, defrag. Alright, gain two focus. Uh, do I want a dual cast? It's 20 damage. Why not? Okay, uh, it hitting the same enemy is probably good. Now things are going terribly. It's a lot of damage again. I think I'd rather channel a lightning here. We're gonna take some damage. This is where self-repair comes in. Ideally, at least. So we storm, then static. Well, only one has to hit him. In order to have given you five extra block. Yeah, okay, we got lucky. Now, are you going to block? You are going to block, but I think you're already dead. You're definitely already dead. 50 HP is not where I want to be. Heat Sinks, I genuinely actually think might be one of the best cards in the game. Uh, as the defect, at least. This is not what you want to see on turn one. In case you're curious uh, how I feel about uh, what we're rolling with here. Storm is helpful. Defrag is helpful. I guess we'll rebound to defend, unfortunately. 
Just gotta punch through that armor. It's gonna take a hundred years, but well, you certainly amplify a self repair, and uh, you know the damage is actually pretty good. I will hit you. Well, you're getting hit for twelve anyway. Let's hit you for sixteen instead. Now you're getting hit for eight. Now that I think about it, um, I'm actually gonna drink the focus potion to kill you, save myself twenty two HP, and we're back looking okay. Um, hologram is super nice. So is Reinforced Body, but uh, Hologram is not exhausted, right? Yeah, so we can use that to bring back a boot sequence and, and get a ton of block on the cheap. Remove a card from my deck. I like a lot of it, but sure, you could probably get away with taking a strike. And, uh... Let's go over... Oh, we have to fight two elites this way, don't we? We do. Maybe, maybe have to is the wrong word. Maybe we're happy to fight two elites this way. Hello, Tomo. Would you like to leave? Okay, um, boot sequence, static for sure, defrag for sure. Then would you rather ball lightning or strength? You'd rather, well, you'd rather do both because uh, you're paying attention to your energy consumption. Well, probably should have played the second defend instead of what I actually did. Uh, I really wanted to have an extra turn, to be honest, to get Amplify um, combined with self-healing, but sure. Now, double energy is super good. Master of Strategy is extremely good. Madness for zero is really good. Um, well, it's pretty cheap. Let's start here. I like all of this. I actually don't mind generating frost now, too, because it's one of the best ways to deal damage by generating frost and pushing a lightning out of the way. All right, so this is going to stink, probably. Whenever you play a power draw card. So heat sinks into static, into self-repair, throw a boot sequence out there. Um, I think you channel, and you take a no damage turn one. This is a great start. we got a lot of enabling coming in here. Um, I'm going to rebound, amplify... Hello world. It's a terrible use of double energy. Obviously, I should have known that I was about to draw Amplify, which I just put on the top of the deck, but that's expecting quite a lot of me. <laughs> um, I'm not going to kill you. You know what I kind of like here is a hologram cold snap. Although, Ball Lightning will give me the block as well. So, sure, give me Ball Lightning for the same price. Um, then I'm going to give you a Rebound Ball Lightning. Gives us a little block. Throw me a Turbo, please. we got three energy to work with. Doom and Gloom is going to be really good for the Dark Orb that comes here later. I'll hit you for 12 right off the bat. Okay, so you're not dead. Much to my surprise and chagrin. This will only do 24. We should dual cast it. Ah, no, no, no. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, we should dual cast it. Then ball lightning. Um, are you dead? We need to do 14. That'll get you. So it's a little delicate. Regal pillow, immediately useful, for sure. I don't know, man. I, I kind of feel like Hello World. Ooh, cancel. Thank you. I kind of feel like Hello World is not that useful of a power. But powers have not served me wrong too often in this game. Alright, so we're going to go Heat Sinks. Defrag. Cold Snap. Might as well just start getting to work on you. Um, put up as much block as possible. Very disappointed to not see um, Static Discharge early, but life goes on. Start with self-repair into a hello world. We need to play our powers early, so we'll rebound to save 10 damage. Put a zap out there. We're only taking two. Need to see static discharge, please. Static discharge. This guy's got to go. I would like for you to go, but I think we really just hit you with that, and then you're not as scary. Probably want a hologram. I, to be honest, I kind of like a hologram cold snap. 
We can get away with like a rebound. Doom and Gloom? We're taking three damage. Still no static, but... Doom and Gloom comes back next turn. This guy's doing nothing in particular. I don't even know if an Amplify Hello World is worth it. So give me a moment. We're going to do Hello World. Amplify Defrag is a much, much better play. Then you get Static and Storm. I mean, they're both good. You probably start Static just in case things get tough. And, uh, you know, we're, not, we're only playing Storm. Storm is the only power left. So this is a smarter play probably. Now... Want to make sure you die. You're hitting for five, which is nothing. Actually nothing. We've already played two attacks. We're blocking for five already. We don't need to... Well... Let's try it. Okay, we're blocking for nine already. There's nothing else worth playing here. We could dual cast, but it just wastes a block, I think. I'm just trying to wait for, like, our, uh, our Dark Orb to come back around with a lot on it. I think I'd be very happy. So I'm going to rebound you to kill you. And then we'll rebound Hologram, which is just a beautiful card to begin with. Um, and why don't we rebound again after that? Then we'll rebound Leap. And we're not playing Leap for block. We're playing Leap so we have Leap next turn. Might as well double energy right off the bat. I'm going to start here. Eight block. So we're fine on this. Might as well draw. Yeah, I like it. Oh, we wasted our Dark Orb, didn't we? Wouldn't surprise me. Don't even play these two. Yeah, there's no need. What do you mean, go get them, boys? There's no boys. There's no boys anymore. We did draw last... Not very shrewd. But he's dead anyway. That didn't go so badly. Runic Dodecahedron, one of the most useful, useless relics in the game. I know what I said. I think Beam Cell is fine. Uh, we can dodge the Elite. I don't think we need to dodge the Elite, though. Let's go here. Potion Belt. Dude, I know you're happy you added it to the game. Please remove it now. <laughs> Not to be rude. Okay, um, it's easy. You boot sequence for sure. You defend. Static, Madness, Doom and Gloom. So now Madness has made Doom and Gloom so it'll cost zero for the rest of the match. So we want to bring that back all the time. All the time. When we get a chance at least. You start Heat Sinks. You go Defrag. Hologram. Bring back Doom and Gloom. Play Doom and Gloom. Gorgeous. Can't complain at all. Um, we could hit one of you for 16. That's not really that important. So instead, we'll let you hit me and think you have a chance at victory. And uh, you just literally cemented your own death there, but sure. Uh, I would love to see... And I'm still holding out hope. Now there is no hope. Literally couldn't stop from killing you if I had the opportunity. Um, hologram, so good. I wanted to see self-repair, which has now done me the service of showing up. We need boot sequence. We will self-repair. Defrag. Rebound to zap. Nasty turn. We're going to take 13. And we, we would really like to not. Get Storm out there. Beam cell. You're hitting for 14. Man, that's a pain in the butt. Well, turn plays itself. We're in trouble. Yeah, we're on lethal. There's no need to double energy here. We're only taking two damage. <laughs> Dude, we need static. Like, instantly, please. Um... Eleven. Um, we're we're literally exactly dead. I don't think there's anything we could have done about it. 
on the, well, once we got into that situation. Well, it's a bummer of a Slay the Spire episode. This is what you get when you ask for difficulty and, you know, take a half hour break. Say, oh, I'll just come back when the Slay the Spire daily is ready. Get your butt kicked. Dude, I really thought we had something going there. For now, so be it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the continuing struggle of me in this game. Now that they've amped up the difficulty a little bit. If you did, click the like button. Especially in an ongoing series, it helps out a great deal. It helps me fight back the tears. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'll see you next time.